So I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I'm gonna tell you a little story about uh, the Greensboro Four and what it meant to me. But first, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about John Lewis. He was a giant of a man, and unfortunately, he died in 2020, and he left this legacy that just seems to stand the test of time. So he talks about preparing and studying. When he was growing up and he was going through the civil rights movement, he said, we didn't just start, we prepared, we studied, we learned about South Africa and Nelson Mandela, we learned about the injustices that were happening in our community. We prepared ourselves for what might come our way if we took up this cross to bear. He says, when he decided to do this preparation, he chose a life of nonviolence. He wanted to do this in a way that didn't bring harm to those around him, even though it did. He says that they may have beat me, they may have called me every name but my own, but I was still going to fight. He says that he almost died on the march for voter rights in Selma. So it brings to me, as I said, I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, the story of the Greensboro Four. It wasn't like on January 31st, they said, we're going to sit at the Woolworth counter. No, months they prepared. They met in secret in their uh, dormitory rooms. They met with people and they got the, the story of what was happening to them in their community. And they thought that this was an injustice that was worthwhile. So on February 1st, when they decided to walk from North Carolina A&T to the Woolworth building, they walked with people behind them and they sat at the counter. Sure, people said, I'm not going to serve you, but still they sat. And then when one of them had to get up, somebody else sat behind them. And they threw food at them and they dumped hot coffee on them, but still the students, they sat, they studied, they were not gonna give up until something changed, until they themselves were treated as equals at that counter. And it wasn't just the students, and it wasn't just black students. After a while, it became other members of the community. They walked in front of the store, the police were called, but still they sat because they had prepared. They understood what the cost may be. They may have been thrown out of school. They have been jailed or beaten, and some of them were. But it was worthwhile and it was important. 